What is gravel riding? Well, we've joked a bit on GMBN, this is a bit like old school mountain biking, but we drop bars on something that looks a bit like a road bike, or actually, more accurately, like a cyclocross bike. And the question's been buzzing around my head, who actually does this? Is this for mountain bikers that want to cover the miles on and off-road, or is it for roadies that want to discover new horizons, or maybe even both? So I thought I needed to talk to someone who knows all about mountain biking, road and cyclocross, Beth Crumpton. And with three under 23 cross country national championships, a road and a cyclocross racing career, she knows how to ride all these bikes well. Hi Beth, how's it going? Hi Neil, I'm good, are you? Yeah, all right, thanks. Have you ever ridden gravel? Gravel riding has become really popular in the last few years. Fire roads, dirt tracks and even single track have become the stomping ground of the new breed of drop bar bikes. From lightweight carbon bikes designed for enthusiastic fitness freaks to bash out the miles fast, to steel bikes with bags, bottles, tents and hip flasks at the lifestyle end of the market. Gravel riding seems to have grabbed the attention of a broad range of cyclists. Beth, you've raced plenty of cross-country yourself. Do you see much crossover between cross-country and gravel riding? I think there's definitely a crossover, especially between um, like cross-country marathon and gravel riding together. I think you can see they cover further distances on similar terrains, so I think there's definitely a good crossover there. And I guess there's the similarities, you know, the sort of rider that likes doing big days on a road bike or a mountain bike is probably going to feel like gravel biking might be for them. Yeah, it definitely could attract them to it for sure, because you're still off-road, you're still covering big miles, seeing good sights, and it's definitely got something for everybody. Right, I think it's time for us to try it. I think we should have a go. So what about the bikes? Where do they sit compared to a cross-country bike and a cyclocross bike, the nearest comparable types of bike? The new Proof Digger is the mountain biker's gravel bike. It's a mountain bike brand, of course. It's got wide bars, they're 500 mil wide, and a dropper post. It's got a 71 degree head angle, so a couple of degrees steeper than a cross-country bike. And the reach on a medium is 396 millimeters, compare that to over 400 on a cross-country bike. The gearing is a one by with a 40 tooth chainring and 1142 cassette. Cross country bike is likely to have a smaller chainring and a wider range cassette, up to a 51. Gravel bikes are also likely to have more bosses on the frame to attach more bottles, bags, panniers, mud guards, and all the kit an adventurer or a commuter would ever need. Beth is riding a cyclocross bike, the original off-road drop bar bike. A cyclocross has been around for almost 120 years. It's similar to a gravel bike, but not exactly the same. It's got a higher bottom bracket for pedaling all the time around a muddy field and not as much tire clearance. Gravel bikes can run wider, more comfortable tires. So for me, my gravel bike has sort of been the thing that I go out and do, not a very long ride to be fair, like a 20, 30K, kind of quick, linking up little loops of single track with a bit of road. What sort of bike would you ride on a, that style of ride? I think I'd definitely go for like a more relaxed kind of cyclocross bike. So the one I'm on today is more racy, yeah. but I'd probably pick one very similar, but with a bit more, you know, wider tyres, a bit wider handlebars, a bit more, just with more relaxed angles on the bike. Yeah, that's something on my bike, I'm running 38 uh, tyres and it feels great. You know, even on the road, they don't feel as bad as I thought, and off-road, it's, it's really good actually. I guess it gets a bit dicey in single track. So for me, it's like a, it's a leisure thing. I just go off and ride, but we are seeing a lot of races, big races like Dirty Kansas seem to have taken hold and even Grand Giro. What do you think about those? There's definitely a market for races and I think, yeah, the scale of people riding those races are ever increasing and I think it's a really exciting aspect of the sport as well that 
cycling's forever developing and it's exciting for off-road as well that it gets a mix of crowd, a mix of mountain bikers and a mix of road riders as well. It's funny, I look at some of the pictures I saw on Instagram of those epic American vistas of endless fire roads. We don't really have that type of ride in the UK, do we? We don't, know, and I think that's why gravel riding in the UK is so much different. We've got a lot of canals, we've got loads of towpaths which are perfect for those gravel riding scenes to ride on and then you've got your open fields as well and you can link up parts of woods and roads and towpaths together. I guess that sort of answers the question I sort of pose this video is in the UK it's sort of what it's cross riders do, you know, riding through muddy bogs and what mountain bikers do as well, riding through forests. So I guess it's going to attract those people to do the same sort of thing, but on a different bike. For sure. And I think that's what's so exciting and special about gravel riding. So the gravel bike has actually replaced the road bike for me. I can do those rides linking the fun little off-road bits by a bit of fire, a bit of road. But what do you feel about the sort of hipstery adventure riding, Beth? Yeah, I think it's exciting and fun and it poses the fact that you can go further for longer on those big adventures and make a big trip of it. Even get away with sticking a beer in your bottle cage. So Beth, who do you think gravel bikes are for? I think it's easy to say it's for everybody. Um, it's a happy medium for mountain bikers wanting something different to not be quite classed as a roadie. There will be some of that, I suppose. I'm, I'm not bothered, but definitely some mountain bikers don't want to be associated with being a roadie, maybe. I think that is a thing. And I think gravel riding for sure helps meet, meet in the middle. <laughs> And it's definitely becoming so popular. We've always got niches like like the racing side of it and the lifestyle, you know, bike packing side of it as well, which is cool. It involves a lot of people. Definitely, and I think I think bike packing is such a cool thing. You can see amazing things and go to some really cool places and meet new people. And I think gravel riding it can bring two different types of bike riders together. Absolutely, and we've seen you know, GCN do a lot of gravel videos. This is you know, one of the first few videos we've done on GMBN, but I definitely think there's a happy medium where, as you say, everyone can do a bit of it. I've been to Iceland with Sai where he rode a gravel bike, I rode a hardtail, so the crossover is definitely there. It's the adventure side of a gravel bike that I really like. Stick some frame bags on and I can go bike packing on a bike that's more robust than a road bike and more able to cover big miles on my cross country bike. I suppose it's a bit like old school bike touring, but in my eyes, it's a lot cooler. And don't forget, you can throw in some proper off-roading on a bike that can handle it. More bikes, more options. It can't be a bad thing, surely. Let us know in the comments down below if you're into gravel bikes or if you're curious about trying one out.